Hello Scatterventures and welcome to a new video. In this episode we'll be overclocking the Core i7-6950X, a 10-core overclockable monster from Intel. We'll be overclocking the CPU core, the CPU ring, the memory, tryout XMP and we're also having a look at the MSI Game Boost functionality. Alongside the CPU we'll be using the MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard, 32GB of D-Scale Trident Z memory and the MSI GeForce GTX 1080 Seahawk graphics card. The total system cost of this system is about 2150 US dollar. All the links to the hardware are in the description below. Let's get going. To do the overclocking, we'll be using four different tools. First, for the actual overclocking, we'll be going into the motherboard BIOS to adjust all the settings. And then in the operating system, we'll be using four benchmarks. Intel XTU, HWBOT X265 4K encoding, F1 2015 game benchmark and the PC Mark 8 creative workload. You can find all the benchmarks and their download links in the description below. MSI Game Boost offers an easy way to overclock your processor with a simple click in the BIOS or by adjusting the Game Boost button on the motherboard. We tested each setting ranging from 1 to 11 and found that the profile 8 was the highest stable frequency. In order to enable Game Boost profile number 8, simply go into the BIOS and select 8 in the upper left corner. After all this is done, we save the settings by pressing F10 and go into the operating system. We Game Boosted our system to 4.3 GHz using setting 8. We didn't quite make it to 11, but maybe later. Anyway, let's check the performance results. Bear in mind that checking the performance is a vital part of the overclocking process, as we need to know exactly how much faster we are. In Intel XTU, we have a performance increase of 23%. In HDR.X265 X265 4K encoding, we have a performance increase of 24%. In F1 2015, we have a performance increase of 15%. In the PC Mark 8 Creative Workload, we have a performance increase of 6%. That concludes our overclocking adventure with the Core i7-6950X 10-core beast of a processor. For this, uh, for this video, we used the MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard, 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z memory and somewhat missing the 1080 Seahawk graphics card, also from MSI. If you like this video and you want to see more of this kind of uh, content, be sure to give it a like. Uh, also subscribe to the channel. If you think that this system was already fast enough to begin with, there's a dislike button as well. You can find links to both the hardware and the benchmark tools and the overclocking tools in the description below. Thanks for watching.